Hello everybody. So this video is to introduce our project, talk about what we're going to do, and then you can jump on down the playlist and either follow the playlist or refer back to it when you are super confident in what you're doing and maybe just kind of touch up on some areas where you might have been confused. So we are going to make our kind of silly warped faces characters, if you will, based upon either this boy right here, a photo of you, or a photo of somebody else, maybe even a teacher, hopefully. So then we can go back and laugh and have a good time working on photos of people that we know, which always makes it kind of a little more exciting and worthwhile. So just comparing these two photos here, there's a lot that's gone on, but nothing super crazy. And we should be able to do this pretty quickly. So I do have my original photo here and then kind of the end result over here. We have ripped apart his face in essence. We've got eyeballs that are enlarged. We've got a nose that's been warped, a mouth that's enlarged. We have shrunk his ears. And I'm gonna show you also how to enlarge ears. So if you want to do the opposite, you totally can. We have also changed the color of his eyes. And then the newer stuff we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and kind of blur his hair so it doesn't look so pixelated. And it just kind of gives it a cartoonier effect See, I did the same thing here on his eyebrows. We're also going to mess with the neck a little bit to give it a more of a cartoony effect. We're gonna change the skull shape here. And then the final new thing is we're gonna start playing with uh, dodging and burning. So what that basically allows for us to do is to contour things. We can darken things and we can lighten things. So if you kind of compare his neck here, you can see I've kind of darkened some of these muscles or lightened where some of the shine would be. I've also done a little bit on his face and I even went back in here and kind of brought out more of his freckles to make them a little more prominent. Oh, and I'd used it on his eyelashes too. So as we move forward and you're following these videos, remember that you are going to have different photos than me once you move on to yourself and other teachers. So some of these things might not happen as quickly for you and you might have to fight with that image a little bit, but you will totally be okay especially once we get to blending skin and stuff like that. So let's, let's jump on down the playlist and get started. 